Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some super exciting news for all you tech enthusiasts, especially if you're into Linux and Android. Um, so let's dive right in. So here's the scoop. Google has started rolling out a native Linux terminal app to select Android devices. It's been in the works since late 2024 and now it's finally here. The app uses the Android virtualization framework, which means it runs a local virtual machine powered by Debian. Yeah, like a mini Linux workstation right on your phone. One of the coolest demos we've seen was when someone managed to run Doom on it. That just shows you the potential. It can even handle graphical applications. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a classic game like Doom running on their phone, right? Now. Here's what you need to know if you're a Google Pixel user. This native Linux terminal is part of the March Pixel drop and it requires roughly a 500 megabyte download to set up the Debian instance. But um, there's a cat. It's currently locked behind developer mode. Here's how you can enable it. Open your settings and go to about phone. Tap on build number seven times. Then head over to settings. System, Developer Options, Linux Development Environment, and enable the Run Linux Terminal on Android option. Once you've done that, you can launch the Terminal app straight from your app launcher. In its current state, the Terminal app lets you tweak the storage space for the Debian VM with the Disk Resize option, configure network settings through port controls, and even recover the VM storage partition with the Recovery option. Pretty neat, right? Personally, I think this is a fantastic move by Google. Imagine having a full Linux environment in your pocket. Um, it's a game changer for developers and power users alike. And honestly, it would be even better if other Android smartphone manufacturers like uh, Samsung or OnePlus jumped on board. More people could enjoy native Linux access without having to snag a pricey Pixel device. So what do you think? Would you try out the native Linux terminal on your device? Or are you waiting for it to be available on more phones? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.